very excited about today's workout. Today is all about the chest. Ladies, I often get asked, can you work the muscles in your chest to make your chest perkier and bigger? The answer is yes, you can strengthen the pec muscles underneath the breast tissues, underneath the breasticles to make them more shaped and strong. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button because that basically gives you a notification every single time I upload a new workout, which at the moment is pretty much every single day. Okay guys, eight minutes on the timer, let's get going. Now before we get started today, I'm gonna to need you to grab some weights. If you don't have weights, please don't worry, just grab bottles of water, whatever you can get your hands on, and then you're gonna lie yourself all the way down, okay? Bringing the arms out, up above the head. We're gonna bring ourselves up into a bridge. Squeeze the butt, pull the core in tight, we're going to drop the elbows out to the side and bring them back up again to meet in the centre. Okay, so we're going with a nice chest press here. By lifting our body up, we are targeting a different part of the chest as to if we were low, okay? So next round, we're going to be all the way down flat. Keeping those movements nice and strong and making sure that those elbows are dropping out in line with the shoulders. And if at any point you need to drop the weights down, you can, of course, just go with your hands. That's absolutely fine. You're still going to work. Lifting that pelvis a little bit higher, but squeeze, core tight. Good work. Amazing. And we're going for a full minute on each exercise. Woo! Okay, up into sitting. When I'm going to plant the feet, roll back to where we're feeling our core. Our arms are up in front of us. We're going to roll one arm back, roll the other arm back, and then both together, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Obviously, to make it a little bit easier on the core, you just come a bit higher and easier still, palms facing down. And trust me, it still works. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. You want to try and keep those shoulders away from the ears, okay? Good work. All the way through. One minute. Good. Keep those thumbs up nice and high. Come on, no giving up. It's only eight minutes. We've got this. Amazing. Straight up into standing from there. And we're gonna bend the body over, pulling the core in nice and tight. Let the arms hover. Set the shoulder blades down and in. We're gonna row back from there, okay? Slight bend in the knees. Good work. Amazing. And you've done this exercise with me before, but last time we had a tricep extension in there as well at the elbow, this time it's just for the back. And you're aiming to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep the core tight, no overarching through the spine. Good work. We're getting there. For the last 10 seconds, we're gonna mix it up. Good, last 10, hold and squeeze. Now straighten and bend. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. Tiny bit of triceps here. Woo, okay, down onto the mat. You're going to bend your left knee, straighten out your right leg and the weight is in your right hand. We're now going for a single arm row, okay? Another back exercise. Good work. Making sure that those hips are nice and stable. You're not swaying. Good work. And again, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. You want those shoulders away from the ears. Good work. Amazing. This time for the last 15 seconds, we're gonna change it up. Okay, we're gonna squeeze, 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 straighten and bend. Keep squeezing. A tiny little bit of hamstrings here. Really there. Good work, keep squeezing. One more. Woo, perfect. Round two, straight back into 
lying, okay? This time, we're not raising the pelvis. So if you can pull that core in nice and tight, flatten the back. This is actually one exercise where I don't mind you arching. And I know that seems like a bit of a contradiction based on what I normally say. But actually, technically, based on form by weightlifters, you can overarch for this exercise as long as you don't have back problems because it increases the range of movement. So basically you're able to move your arms further, your shoulders further, which ultimately means you're working that muscle harder. So we're making this working, not working, working the chest harder. Good. But I would prefer you to be a bit flatter with your core tight just to protect your spine. Ooh, okay, straight up, come on, no rope this time, okay? Rolling back, one row, two, and together, good. Amazing. So this whole circuit involves a bit of shoulders, back, chest, but mainly focusing on the back and the chest. Obviously the movements are coming from the shoulder joints, okay? Good work. Core tight. Oh, this one. I would say it's the hardest, particularly with 2 kg, but we have got this. We're not giving up. If you need to, you just drop those weights down and go just with arms. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. This is a burner. Oh, yes it is. into standing, bending over, shoulders set, let's go. You want to really make sure that those shoulder blades are squeezed, that the core is tight. Good work. You're really, really pushing those shoulder blades together, okay? Pulling those stomach muscles in nice and tight. Good. So we're gonna hold a, uh, hold a squeeze now. Three, two, one, lower halfway. Squeeze, two, one, lower halfway. Two, one, halfway. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Straighten the thumbs out. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Woo, okay. Last one, guys. This time the weight is in your left hand. This time you are going to straighten out that left leg. Okay, let's go. Rowing from there. Good work. Amazing, guys. Core cool, tight. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Incredible. Nearly there now, guys. Come on, really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep the shoulders down and in, okay? Chest open. Nearly there now. You can always increase the load as well. Just go slightly heavier weights. You need to always be applying the principle of progression. You need to be changing up the frequency, the intensity, the time, and the type of training. So basically for this, you wanna be increasing your load. So using heavier weights, doing more rounds. If you are stopping before the full minute, aiming to progress to complete the full minute each time, and obviously changing up the type of training that you're doing, which you guys don't need to worry about because I upload so many workouts for you guys on my channel. So you are gonna get those results. Just follow me. I'm so proud of you. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Ow, that really hurts. Even waving really hurts. Thought you really loved me. Guess I was.
strong